Hello I'm Private Data from Security Breached. We all like the web. It is an invaluable tool which makes our everyday lives easier, and is a rapidly increasing source of information and entertainment. In order to access these online services web users are being asked to supply their private and personal data. The last 12 months has seen a two-fold increase in reported online security breaches within Australia, a disturbing trend due to a combination of crafty hackers and poor internal company security procedures. Breaches can also occur though in the simplest of situations where employees lose laptops or USB sticks containing private user data. Recently several high-profile security breaches have leapt to public attention domestically and abroad. Locally, there were breaches by Vodafone, ANZ Bank, and First State Super. However most notably, Telstra was found to have published the account details of 60,000 bundled service customers on their website, these details were searchable on Google. This is in the wake of the several other smaller scale data breaches by Telstra. Dell Australia was one of many who suffered a major security breach when the company who manages its customer contacts, Epsilon, was hacked. Epsilon manages customer data for over 2,500 companies worldwide, containing the private data of millions of web users. There have also been hacks on Valve's online gaming service, Steam and more notably Sony's PlayStation Network which leaked the account details of 77 million users worldwide. The worst aspect of the Sony breach was that it took seven days to notify its customers of the breach. Sony soon changed their terms and conditions to ensure that Sony were no longer legally at risk for any future breaches. Six months later, after beefing up their security, Sony again leaked the details of another 93,000 customers. But these publicly reported breaches are only the tip of the iceberg. It is not mandatory under Australian law for companies to advise users of a data breach. And there are no mandatory punishments for companies that breach user privacy. None. However, all of the companies involved apologize to their customers for these breaches. Australia is lagging far behind the rest of the world on data breach law reforms. Reforms which were recommended in 2009 but have yet to be implemented by the Australian government. If you want to find out more about online security in Australia, go to the Stay Smart Online website. Or if you need to report or investigate a security breach, please go to the OAIC website.